Right. Now, I want us to just spend a little time praying. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, today at the Flow Church, I was sharing about the revelation of movement. Amen. And movement is something very, very important. Now, when we say movement, we are talking about movement forward, movement backward, movement upwards, sideways, movement around in a circle, like a cycle, all kinds of movements are necessary because the Bible says in him we move and have our being. Amen. Amen. So many many of us don't realize how much movement there is. So for instance, you know, in terms of physics, I don't want to confuse the art students. Huh? Yes. The reason why I take on art students is because they are the ones spoiling the currency. I don't know the ones in charge of the economy. Every day the money has changed its value. Now, if you take the telescope, you see the Hubble telescope, it's a new telescope that they made. When they put it out there, and they look into the black. All we see is black. But when they put this one there, and they turn it on, here was galaxies. More. Endless. And you know, when an object is moving away from you, in, in light, right? You know there are different spectra or the spectrum of light. You don't know. The art students say they don't know. But if you look at it through, I don't know whether it's a spectrometer or whatever, when it is the glass, when it is going away from you, it's it becomes red. You see a light, the light changes to red when it's going away. When it's coming towards you, it becomes green. Yes. So when they looked at the stars, they were turning red. So they saw that the, thing, the universe with the groups of stars were going, expanding and moving. So it's like the stars that we see, there are plenty more galaxies and collections of stars. I don't know if you know what a star is. Hmm? Let me help you to understand the size of a star. <laughs> if British Airways takes off from Accra and decides to fly around the world and come back to Accra, how long will it take? From here to London is six hours. And then it will continue to America. And then it will go over the Arctic Circle. It will go around down to South Africa, whatever, and come back six hours. It's about 20 four hours plus, about 30 hours. 
to go around the whole earth and come back. Are you with me? Now, if you took an aeroplane, the same aeroplane, and you want to cross a star like Regal. Do you know Regal? If you know the star, um, you know the, um, what is that thing called? The one with the three, three bells, Orion, and so on. One of the stars in it is called Regal. Yes. And one is the yellow one is called Betelgeuse. Yes. Betelgeuse. Now, if you are to take British Airways to cross Betelgeuse, which is just a dot in the sky, I told you that if you take British Airways to cross the earth, it will be how long? 24, 30 hours. I mean, you can imagine from Accra to London, London to New York, New York through the Alaska down, and then back through South Africa or whatever, I don't know, Asia, or go this way to Asia, Ethiopia, then from Ethiopia to Japan, and then Japan to America, then America back to Ghana. 12, 30 hours. Okay. If you take this same British Airways and you cross the star, Regal or Betelgeuse, it will take you 1,200 years for, for the plane flying nonstop to cross the star, Betelgeuse. Yes. No, no. 1,200 years. Not hours. No. Yes. And the way I always remember it is because it will mean that you have to give birth, your children will grow up, you will die on the plane, then your children will also grow up, they will give birth, die on the plane, give birth, 1,200, like about 12, 15 generations. You have a lot of skeletons on board. Huh? Yes. Far. 1,200 years. That's how big one star is. And there are thousands. When they used the Hubble's telescope, they saw more. So the point that I'm making is that there is nothing that God has created that is not moving or even expanding. So the universe is actually expanding. It's fantastic. As for fantastic, there, I, mean, I agree that it's fantastic. God is very, very wild. So, I don't know why we are so convinced that we are the only ones in the system. And that we are so important. Yes. Because have you seen the sun from this earth before? Have you seen the sun? When you stand on there, you look at the sun. Don't look at it with your eyes, but you can see where it is. If you go back to Mars, Jupiter, and what comes after Jupiter? Saturn, and then Pluto, and then you look. You know what the sun looks like? It's a star. It's a small star. So our sun is actually a star. It's just one of the stars. And we are going around that star. So there are plenty more stars with planets going around them. Yes. Is it not amazing? Yes. Uh, there are many, many more. So I was so shocked the day I saw a picture of the sun from Pluto. Yeah, I saw a picture of the sun because they took it and that was it. A small star. He said, that's the sun from Pluto, Neptune. That's when they took the picture this way. It turned into a star. So that we are going around. You know? And then, when you look at uh, Jupiter, Jupiter has about 58 moons. 
We have only one moon. Do you see? Huh? Yes, and some of the moons, they have famous like Europa. It's one of the names of the, one of the moons. And the moons are bigger than Earth, than here. And the reason why they are not called planets is because they are not going around the sun. They are going around Jupiter. Do, do you understand what I'm explaining? And you can only be called planet if you go around the sun. Since you are not going around the sun, but you are going around a planet, that's why we are calling you a moon. Or you don't get it now. Because our moon is also big. But it is, I mean, it's much smaller. But it doesn't go around the sun. It goes around the earth. Yeah. So the point that I'm trying to make is that God is very great. Yes. And we are nothing. Amen. And the things that God has made are moving. All the 58 moons are moving around Jupiter. And we, as an earth, we are moving around the sun, coolly. From here to the sun is 93 million miles. From here to the sun is 93 million miles. Huh? And then from Venus to the sun is about 76 million miles. And from Mercury is about 33, 90, then about 60, 60, and then 30 million miles from here to the sun like that. Now, we were recently in Norway, the Arctic Circle. Yeah, you'll be there soon. Because I'll be taking some of you to Greenland. Do you know why it's called Greenland? Do you know why Iceland is called Iceland? You didn't know? You see, as student, you, you claim to know everything. Greenland is called Greenland because there's no green, it's only ice. And Iceland is called Iceland because there's no ice there. There's no, it's only green. Yes. What was I telling you before I asked you about Greenland? Yes. Yeah, I've even forgotten what I was going to say. Yes. Because art students are always... Huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. We are, we are 93 million miles. And when you are there, you see what they call the northern lights. You see the in the sky. Like it goes like this. Different. Do you know what it is? It's wind from the sun. 93 million miles away. It's a solar wind. That is blowing the particles. But you see it at the North Pole. Eh? God is wild. Is God wild or God is not wild? God is very wild. And I really wonder what our problem is. We, we, are, we, are, we are so nothing. And yet we are so proud. May God have mercy on us. But the point that I'm trying to make is that everything that God made is moving. Including you. You are also moving. And you must move. You must move. Either you are moving up Forward, sideways, down, back, cycle, round. There must be movement. There must be movement. There must be movement. So beginning from today, everything that pertains to your movement is coming on. Isaiah 48. In him we move. Acts 17, 28. Beautiful scripture. In him... We live and we move. We live and we move. We move around. Amen. Now, 
all through this year. Hmm? God will cause water to flow for you in the desert. And that's what I want us to pray. It said in verse 21, and they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. And he clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. Amen. So when God is leading you, even if it is through the desert, he will cause waters to flow for you. So I want us to pray, amen, amen. that Lord, let the waters flow in the desert. Amen. amen. As I stayed in Ghana for the last 35 years since I finished medical school. Hmm? Ghana has been through many governments, different kind of situations. Compared to other worlds where you may have said that this is a prosperous place. Ghana wasn't so prosperous. That is why almost all my classmates left me here. You get it? Including Dr. Nosh, who is sitting here. They moved. So as I stayed in the wilderness, look at it. It says, and he tested not. They tested not when he led them through the deserts. You will not be thirsty even when God leads you through deserts. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that God can find water for you? Yes. You know, there is some kind of power that we don't know about. And that's the kind of power that I want you to believe in as you pray. Yeah. Think about the sun and the earth. The earth is moving around the sun. Eh? Assuming this is the pulpit, this is the, the, the earth, the sun. And my microphone is the earth. Can you understand it? If this is a ball, this, the top of the microphone is the North Pole. Huh? And this is the sun. So it's going, it's going around. At what speed? 107,000 kilometers per hour. So my, my question is that I can't find the engines of the Earth that have been sparked, that are making the earth, which is very heavy. I don't know where the engines are that is making it move like this. And it's moving very fast. Otherwise, next year will not come. Hey. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. Like, the earth is huge. So big, but it is moving. And the reason why you can't feel the movement is because if you sit on an aeroplane and you are going from here to England or from here to America, you'll be drinking tea like this. You don't feel that the cup is moving, but the cup moves from Ghana to America. The cup even in the plane moves to America. At top speed, but you don't feel because it is all within the plane. So we are all within this atmosphere which is covered. There's a whole atmosphere. That's when the, when the rockets are going to space. They have to pass through that thing. It, it protects the earth. So everything
everything within it, including the sea, everything is moving. So my question is that when there is an aeroplane, I can see the engines very big. Like the engine of a plane will be like from here to here. And like this, up to maybe the height of this. Very big, you can walk in it. And you see it has got four. That is what pushes the plane. You know how the engine works? It's like a balloon. You will not understand it. Now. It's okay. <laughs> Should I show you how the jet engine works? I'll show you just in a quick, because this one you, you can understand. Have you seen when you blow, have you seen the engine, the plane engine, the, the front is big, round, and the back is small? Uh -huh. It's a, the principle of a balloon. If you blow a balloon full, and then you leave it, the force of the air coming out of the balloon makes the balloon move around. That's the... So that is the force that moves the balloon. Is the air coming out of the balloon? I, I don't know what other art students. No, those of you who did philosophy and history, eh? At least you can understand. What I'm explaining, they are not difficult. God, God told me from today you can teach. Even art students will understand what I'm saying. So that is why the engine is big. At the front, and then the back is small. Just like when you blow the balloon, the air is big in the balloon. If I had a balloon here, and then the hole that you blow is the back of the engine. So as the air comes out, then the balloon, you see the balloon moving around. If you leave it. Yes. So what happens is that air, air comes in. That's why they don't put it on when anybody is walking out. Because you will be, you will be sucked into the engine. So the, end, the air comes in and it's heated up and it becomes like a hot, like, uh, hot air. And then it comes out. As it comes out, then it pushes the plane up. Simple. You get it? Yeah. This one I'm sure most of you who did. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, what was I telling you before I, I, I got to the engine? I'm talking about power. What I'm saying, I don't see the earth having any engines. That is moving it. When you see a Hyundai outside, or a Toyota, small one moving like this, we are even happy. You say, hey, look at the car moving. Look at this moving. The earth, without any engine or carburetor or battery, Eh? No fuel tank is moving the whole earth at top speed. What makes it move? And it has never stopped moving. Everybody say, Power belongs to God. Oh, yes. Hey, God is wild, though. God is very wild. So God is going to bless you. And as you walk through every wilderness. A wilderness means that it's a place where there are not many good things. Or many things for you to drink. But even there, God will give you all that you need. Stand to your feet. We are praying. It's a prayer meeting. All the plenty talking was because of the prayer. I hope I'm not talking too much. God should forgive me. Lift your hands and let's pray at this time. Jesus. Yes. Palama Shondala Palaka Mandala Baba Dara Mamandala Baba. Shora Habala Mandola Behebo Kabali. Ora Mande Bebe Kobala. That as the Lord leads me through every wilderness, the waters will flow. The waters will flow. Yes, waters will flow. Yes, yes, yes. Waters yes. will flow. Waters will flow. Waters will flow. Lord, Lord, Father, Lord. we thank you. Yes, Lord. For your grace and your power. For every situation, in the name of Jesus. every wilderness, every, wilderness. every step, oh God. every place you take us to, Lord. All through. Mamma, Baba, 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 Baba
Now, it is not everywhere that God leads you. That is nice. Yes. That is why he said that they, they thirsted not when he led them through deserts. So you may think that if God is leading you, you will not come to a desert. I, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Like if, if they made a, I've made a mistake, that's why I'm in the desert. No, the Bible says he, they tested not when he led them through, through what? Deserts. So the desert does not mean that you've made a mistake. Don't think you've made a mistake. He is leading you even through deserts. Can I have an amen from somebody? Amen. Now, in Exodus, the famous um, chapter where it says, I'm the Lord that he led thee. The Bible says, Moses brought Israel, in verse 22, out of the wilderness. Three days, and they found no water. And then they came to Mara, and they could not drink of the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Now, the Lord led them straight to bitter waters. Lord, are you serious? Huh? 
Somebody's got to be serious. <laughs> You've led the people straight, straight, straight by pillar of fire when they arrive, drink bitter. So how many of you have experienced some bitter things that you make you wonder, Lord, are you the one leading me or it's my imagination? I came to encourage you today. Eh? Many of the bitter waters is God who brought you there. He wanted you, to, he wanted you to drink and see what you will say. That's why you must be afraid of complaining. I don't like complaining. Sometimes I complain, but I don't like it. I hope I'm not complaining. Yes. But God is the one leading you. Lift your hand. Father, thank you. Yes. As you lead us. Yes, Lord. Lift your hand and say, Lord, lead me. Oh, Lord, lead, lead me. me. Whether Lord, bitter waters, whether Lord, desert, me. whatever. Yes. My lead God. me through and provide for yes, me. Jesus. Uh, lift your hand and surrender oh, yourself yes. to God. Me, Lord, Lord Mama, I, 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 submit I submit myself for your leadership. To your your leadership, leadership. To desert. Through desert. Yes. To Mara. Yes. To bitter waters. Whatever it is. Pray, God, lead me. Lead me, I lead submit me. myself oh, yes. to your will. I submit Lord, myself to your will. When we go to oh, the waters, yes, yes, when yes, we yes. go to the desert, yes, 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 provide yes. me with water. Oh, yes. When we get to the Shalom bitter Shalom waters, Shalom Lord, Shalom the Shalom bitter Shalom waters, Lord, Shalom help me, Lord, to have a right attitude. Lead me, O oh God, I pray. Lift your hands, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, and my 
Hallelujah. Revelations chapter 3. Revelations chapter 3. You are moving. Everybody say, I'm moving. Say, there is movement. There must be movement. All right. There must be movement. Amen. Now, in Revelation chapter 3, it says in verse 7, to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, these things saith he that is holy. Hmm? And he that is true. And he that had the key of David. He that openeth and no man shutteth. And shutteth and no man openeth. You know there were seven churches. And only two of them that Jesus did not say repent. Only two of them. This one and Smyrna. Philadelphia and Smyrna are the two churches that he didn't say repent. <laughs> yes. Love and Smyrna was the martyrs, the sac- those who died, the sacrifice. So the church of love and sacrifice are the only ones that he didn't have to tell them that. Anyway, that is by the way. (laughs) Oh, yes. Now, beginning from today, amen, Amen. up to December, impossible doors shall open for you. Stand up and let's pray. Anything that has been close to you, mm. closed Jesus. to your life. Yes. Do you understand? Mm. Impossible doors. Impossible he says, doors. I am the one who has the key. Hey. 
And he that opens, my God. no man shuts. Wow. And shuts and no man opens. Every door, impossible door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about power here. My, 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 my. Lift your hand. Lord, Jesus. let every impossible door, every impossible door be, open be open unto me yes. between now yes. and December Mama 31st. By the end of this year, yes. whatever door has, whatever been, door shut has been shut and closed, and closed. Opens Open. for me, in the name for of my Jesus. sake, for this prayer yes, yes, that yes, I yes. came to church to pray. I came to church to pray. I came to church to pray. Jesus. 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 Oh God. Oh God. Impossible doors. Impossible and doors and closed, and my God. Let them be open. 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 Men falugre se roga roga na siyanda la mama. Man te te mo vide ko pano no mo shanda le mena. Reme te me ni go sanda le ba 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 because you pray, because you pray to God, you shall open it. God open it. Let my Lord Impossible doors of your life. 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 Impossible doors of your life.
every impossible door, every impossible door, every impossible door. I am He that has the key of David. I open and no man shut it. I shut and no man open. I can open every impossible door. Father, let every impossible door that has remained shut be opened in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. My God. Doors of marriage. Doors to beloved. Come on. Come on. Those to finances, those to complex problems hey, 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 hey. that have no solution. Lift your hand, lift Father. We hand. thank you, my God, for impossible doors that open up in the name of Jesus before the year ends, before the year ends, before December finishes. In the name of Jesus, in the name Christ. of Jesus, before December finishes. Yes. Before the year closes, before 2023 finishes, impossible doors. Impossible doors. We believe you, Lord. We believe you, Lord. Mamma, <laughs> Impossible doors, Everybody just pray, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, pray. Pray, Lord God is listening to your prayer. Pray, pray for yourself. And every possible door, every possible door, door to your ministry, door to your life, door to your church, door to your work. You may be seated. Now, how many believe that you are beautiful? Wow. What is the Bible word for beauty? Glory. The word, the Bible word, the old word. Like if we say, oh, you are glorious, it means you are beautiful. I see your glory. It's like I see your beauty. Oh, today your glory has come, Pa. It means that your beauty is really shining. Do you get it? Yeah. Beginning from this October. Are we in October? You are breaking forth 
into new realms of glory. So maybe you are already glorious or nice, but you'll be even nicer. I said you will be even nicer. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 says, The Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with an open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into that same image from glory to glory as by the spirit of the Lord. So when you look at the glory, you change to glory. That's why when you look at evil, you feel sick. Isn't it? When you look at things you shouldn't look at, or even read things that you shouldn't read, you feel sick in your spirit. But when you look at glorious things, you change into the glorious thing that you are seeing. Amen. You change into the glorious thing that you are seeing. So beginning from this October, I see your life become, going to the next. It says, we are changed from glory to glory. Stand to your feet. Glory to glory. Lift your hand. Everybody, do you understand the English word glory to glory? You are going from, I mean, something nice to something nice. Yes. Something nice to something nicer. Yes. Lift your hand, everyone. Oh Pray right now. Oh Lord, God. I thank you. My life oh, yes. and my ministry yes, 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 are going yes. from glory to glory. 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 Beauty to beauty. Beauty to beauty. Next level to next level. Next level to next level. Next level to next level. Next level to I'm next going level. higher. Jesus, more beautiful. On. Pray about it. Pray about it. Lord, I pray about it. Let my life go from glory to glory. Let my life go from a higher level to another higher level. Changing your life, making your life and your ministry move from glory to glory to level to the next level. 
Verse 41. First mm. Corinthians 15 and verse 41. It says, There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For even one star differeth from another star in glory. So you see, there is glory and there is glory. There is a glory of the sun. And another glory of the moon. The beauty of these things. Celestial objects. And another beauty of the stars. So I don't know what level of glory you are at. And I, I'm praying for myself too. I don't know what level of glory I am. But I'm praying that Lord. As you have said in your word. That as I behold the glory. I will go, I will be changed from one level. And I see your level. Charlie, you are not bad today, but I see there is some, another glory. How many have ever been before, you thought you were close, then later on you realize you weren't close. It is now that you are close. <laughs> or you thought you were rich, but... <laughs> the, the small job that you had, you thought you were rich, but then you realized later that at that time you weren't even rich. There are levels. 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 Lift your hand for the next Jesus. level. Put your hand like this. Yes. You are receiving the next level. I receive the next Begin level. prayer right now. You are moving Kata. from one Pum level to another level. To another level. To another level. Whether it's the level, whatever it's Bello There is another level. Father, thank you. Thank you. Prayer about it. Hey, yes. Yes. My God. My God. Hey. Rakuse Mambo Palamido Lobanemina. And the Lamo Palamido Lobanemina. And let Sola Palome de Premi Nomano. And the Cavayando Lomane. Menso Mayo Rebel Elemena. Malo Bashan de Lemen. More Remed Elemena. Ayaraba Capara di Odoloba Remed Elemena. On the Sand de Loma Cavayando Lomane. E Maraba Palapa. On the Fellow Mado Lomane. On the Venimo Capando di Adele. Merinami Osto. Merinami Omaranjane. Merinami Osabino Mare. 
You may be seated. Mm. Now, I need you to take a piece of paper. I know you don't have paper, but I want to, where's my offering basket for prayer requests? I want us to pray, you know, in Revelation chapter 22. Everybody say, each month shall yield its fruit for me. So whatever October has from God for you, it is coming out in Jesus' name. Whatever November has from God for you, it is coming out for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Revelation chapter 22, verse 1. And he showed me a river. Amen. Verse 2. In the midst of the street, on either side, there was a tree. All right? Which bear 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month. So that means that every month something was supposed to come. Whatever is supposed to come this October. Hey! Maybe this is the month. I don't know what's going to happen this month. But this is the month that certain fruits are supposed to come. October fruits will come. November fruits will come. And December fruits will come. By 31st December. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. Every fruit that has refused to come, it will be out in Jesus' name. 
Look, when a tree is not bringing the fruit that it's supposed to bring, it is really something. Recently, I was discussing with my bishop from Guinea because I brought a tree from Guinea and I planted it in my house. It's been about 10 years. And there's not even one fruit. It's a special mango tree that doesn't grow tall. But the fruits are, you can just pluck them like that. And they are huge. I saw it in Guinea. And I brought, and I planted it up to today. I'm sad to tell you that there's no fruit from this tree. What shall be done to this tree? Eh? You see how it is when God is expecting something from you. And you are also not coming out with it. It's really something. It's really something. But anyway, not only the tree, but the month. And I'm believing God. Maybe this is the month. Somebody is supposed to look at you and say, you've blocked my view. I can, I can see that you've blocked my view. You've blocked my view. Say, I receive it. But when you hear tongues, you see that tongues may be a prophecy in your favor. Yes. October fruits are coming. Oh, yes. October fruits. For your life. I say October fruits are coming. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is supposed to have a car. Registered October 2023. It is arriving in the name of Jesus. Listen. There is power that you know not of. Everybody say power. You know. E is equal to MC squared. Have you heard of that formula? Put it on the screen because the art student, I know they will not understand it. E is equal to MC squared. E is energy, power, power, power. All right. And M is the, the mass. Or if you like, because I know, you see, when you write it like that, the art student will not, they will think that it is a, a design, like a canopy that somebody is drawing. Somebody is drawing a canopy or it's a tent. Write it as a proper equation. Yes. Those who studied um, geography Aha, yes. Energy or power is, oh, remove it. Bring the other one back, please. It's mass times C. What is the speed of light? 10. The speed of light. Ah, okay. What times what? 3 times 10 to the power 8. Eh? Meters per second squared. Meters per second or per second? 3 times 10 to the power eight. Eh? So it's three thousand, 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 thousand. Okay, for the art students. Thousand, thousand, thousand. Plenty. Okay. So, 
if you are able to take a mass, that is, let's say, a piece of meat, small piece of meat, and then move the things that are inside the meat very fast, because inside is made up of particles. You are able to move it very fast like this. All right? Times, two times the speed of light. Like light is very, okay, speed of light means very fast. You just assume that it's a fast car. Okay? But it's much faster than a fast car. So, you shake, if you can take a piece of meat and shake it very fast, it will become power. That's, that's the formula. They say that if you can take, even like take your phone, or if I take my glasses and I can shake it very fast, times to, this, to that speed, this mass, I can change it to, like, to the speed of light very fast, squared. That is two times speed of light times speed of light. It will lead to power. This is the formula they use for the atomic bomb. And it, and it worked. So they took something, mass, and then they shook it. Do, do you know how much the mass that they took was? Do you know the weight? 0 0.6 grams. They took 0 0.6 grams and they shook it like that and it gave to rise to that. You don't even know what a gram. You don't know one gram. But what about one kilo? When you go and buy meat. Oh, Charlie. Art students. One gram. Thousand grams is one kilo. And if you are traveling, for those who travel, 20 kilos is a suitcase. So one kilo is one out of the 20 kilos for that makes a suitcase. And then out of the one kilo, thousand make one gram. And they took 0.6 of one gram. And they shook it like that, made the atomic bomb that bomb Hiroshima in Japan. That's a formula for power. Yeah. And now the atomic bomb they've made is like 10,000 times more powerful. Yes. One time Rick Joyner said he was on a ship and um, he was saying that they have enough power on their ship to blow the whole earth just on their ship. They have enough nuclear bomb on only one ship to bend the entire earth. That was about 30 years ago. <laughs> so you see the thing lying there like that. Too. So when they want it to become a bomb, then they press something, then the thing starts to shake like that. Uh -huh. E is equal to MC squared. Yeah. How many have understood E is equal to? When you go home, you can teach even your, your, everybody in the house. Yes. You are a lecturer now. Oh, yes. There's, there's power. There's a lot of power. We don't even understand the realms of power that there are. So when we say God is going to change your situation, and this month, I don't know how. Don't ask me how. Did you get it? But October fruits are going to come. November fruits are going to come. And December fruits are going to come. Stand to your feet, please. Our priority is almost over, please. How many want your October fruits and November? I want my November fruits to come my October fruits. I also want my December. How many want your December fruits? Wow. Lift your holy hands. Palmash Matando. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God, my God and my Lord. On the Sunday, Lama Chalo Madelemone, Remo Telemo Paramadolomone, Meko Sayando Lama Balababa, O Ramayando Lobo Berebere, as I was listening to this song, I want mm. us to turn to Psalm 126. Mm. Mm. Every concern of your life will turn around in 20, in the next, the next year. This one is even for 2024. Hallelujah. By 2024. Yes. Whatever is a source of concern yes. will turn around. I say, everybody turn around. Turn around. My God. It's turning around. 
and it will turn around and become a testimony. Whoa. Instead of now. it being something you are always complaining ah. about or talking my about, it will become a testimony. a testimony. How many believe? Look, let's be specific. Hey. 2024. Come on now. Every concern. Professor. Because we are only about hey. 8 to 10 weeks from 2024. Hey. 10 weeks, eh? Yes. 10 weeks from 2024. Whatever is a source of Come concern, hey. write it down. Whatever is Lama a source Daba. of concern, mm -hmm. whatever is a source of concern, hey. will turn around and become a testimony in the name of Jesus in 2024. In Jesus' name. How many have some things that are a source of concern and worry? You think about it, you talk about it, you complain about it, you say it, you say it, you say it. But I'm believing God for Turn around, turn around. It's turning around. Listen, let us pray. All these prayers, they are answered. There's E is equal Amen. to MC squared. There's a lot of power somewhere. That's why Jesus said, whosoever will say to this mountain, which I believe, he knew what he was talking about. Hey. Moving mountains is a small thing. Look at the earth as it's moving. No engines. Power! Yes. Can you imagine the weight of the earth? It's moving around like a football. Spinning. Somebody's got to be serious. Now, write down three concerns that are turning around in your life in 20, by 2024. It may even happen October, November, December. Yes. October is coming up with something for your life. November is also going to vomit out its fruits. And December is going to be fantastic. But 2024 is a turnaround of issues of concern. Whatever comes is an issue of concern. Write down. If you have a paper, okay, okay, write on your phone too. Those of you who receive WhatsApp during uh, preaching. Your phone is supposed to be on airplane mode when you come into church on airplane. No messages. Nine went in, none came out. Except those who are working in church. They, are, they have to communicate. But if you are not a church worker, your phone must be on airplane mode. So put your phone on airplane after church, then you change it back to uh, and you see, as you keep putting it on airplane mode, one day you'll be on an airplane, like for real. For real, you'll be on an airplane. And you understand what I learned airplane mode in church. It should be church service mode. It should have been airplane mode and church service mode. Oh, yes. But don't forget to switch it back on. Otherwise, nobody can reach you. So maybe we have to have an announcement for before and after so that you switch it back on. Turn around. Lift your hands like this. Have you written the three things? How many have, have you got on a piece? If you have a piece of paper, you, you can put it here. I'm going to put it in the altar here, under the cross. Or you can tap it with your phone. But okay, if it's a paper, you can put it in. Amen. Lift up, lift up. Father, we, we present to you these issues of concern. Yes. And we thank you. Yes. Manda kaba sando la baba baba, hala ma yando lo bobe re bele le 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 bele, re ma yonda la baba para bala la mana, ma la sa no ma kata la ma baba baba, para ma da la baba baba, me ra de bene kasi no ma bala ma do lo mane, para ma yande le bo para ma de le mane, onte sande la ma kaba da baba, oh yes, la ba no breste limo ma da bola mana. Menjo para mi dobo ko pandali andele men Rema dala ma sandolo mane Rema ya dala ba bara ba dala ba ba Oma kanta sandolo lama jala mene Rema bara ba la ba 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 
Havala Maya, Lusa da la Baba, Tola ma videle ke suda la mama, Membre vino ma katala mi yondele, Onjen de vizu maradabaya, Remina vi o se da la mone, Tela gabo, tela gabo, tela gabo, tela gabo, tela gabo, Remo falo ma yandele bebe reme de le mona, Sora ma yandele bebe doma na kapara di yandele me, Monde sande la ma kaba yandu la baba, Man la kapara no la la ma, Sora ba yanda la baba, Everybody pray, pray, yes. pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Lift your holy hands to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Those of you watching at home. Yes, Lord. Those of you watching at home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sora Maya Develemina Baba. You may be seated. God bless you. All right, no more. The prayer topic, you can bring it later during the offering. Please go back to your seat. You may go back to your seat. Amen. Well, time is fast spent. As you know, service is from 12 to 3. So we are already way advanced. <laughs> we are closing at 3. Oh, yes. Now, I want you to take out a special offering. Amen. This morning or this afternoon. And um, God is going to bless you for giving such a beautiful offering. So, remember something. Hello? Hello? Now, the reason why many of us are not able to give is because you are always thinking that you are sowing a seed. When you give money to your child, you don't say, I'm sowing a seed in your life. So when you own the church and the ministry in your heart, you don't struggle to give. It becomes, it's what, it is my, my life. And the church doesn't belong to anybody. The church doesn't belong to me. It's not registered in my name. It's not my, it's not my church. It's our church. It's a church. 
Christ church. If I'm not alive, the church is not an inheritance for my child. It cannot be. These buildings, all the buildings, we have more than 1,000 buildings. How can it be for a family? It's not a family dynasty or a possession. there, There are no shares in it that, let's say, the family will be reaping Dividend from the offering every month for the next hundred years. There's nothing like that. If if there's nothing like that, it's it's a church, just like how any of our mother churches are. It 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 belongs to no one, and it belongs to all of us. So when you are giving to the church as an offering, you are you are helping to build. The church, which belongs to the church, Amen. after you've built the church, is for the church. So unless you don't like the church, uh-huh. unless you don't like the church, but if you love God, you will love His house. So when you are building the the church, you don't feel I'm sowing a seed like your your child's school fees are. I'm sowing a seed. In, I'm sowing a seed in your life. Tomorrow, remember that I sowed this seed of education. Hey, I've not seen a parent like that before. Is that what you do to your child? Ah, or you are giving your child money to go and buy toffee or ice cream or kebab. Say, so, I want to sow. How much is kebab outside? Ten CDs for one kebab. Really? Ten CDs? Ten CDs for one kebab. Okay. Wow. Seven, eight, nine, ten CDs. What is dog meat is seven CDs? Listen, it's time to sow a seed in the work of the Lord. God is going to bless you mightily. Amen. Amen. As you do his work. So take out your seed and bless the house of God. As you come, say, I want to bless the house of the Lord. I want to bless the house of the Lord. Everybody do your hand like this. I want to bless the house of the Lord. Oh, yes. You bless the house of the Lord. And you go home. That's a blessing. Your house will also be blessed. Take out your offering, everybody. And let us pray. Father, thank you. For everyone who came to bless the house of the Lord. Bless them, I pray. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen.